Good evening. Welcome back to Fallout 76. Happy Wednesday. So, um, fun story. I, um, I went down the YouTube rabbit hole a while back on just coffee and espresso and all the finer points and stuff. Legends 86, Fear and Sanity, how you guys doing? Good to see you. And I got really curious about Turkish coffee. So I said, I want to do that. I want to try that. So I bought you know, a basic cheap setup and decided I was going to do that tonight. And I made uh, a cup uh, and then dumped it out on the stove because I knocked the, the pot over because I'm, I'm a dummy. Uh, <laughs> so then I made another one. And um, I got to say, for my first ever cup I've ever made and the first ever cup I've ever drank, that's some pretty good stuff. I used some Death Wish whole bean and uh, surprisingly not bitter considering it's Death Wish. Death Wish is a really dark roast. Yeah, i uh not doing tea tonight because I just wanted to try that. I probably would be having tea if I did not have to make a second cup. So uh, I, I do have cold tea. I do have the cold tea. I didn't forgo that. But I got to say, I think I'm onto something. I have to check this out some more. <clears throat> but aside from that, <laughs> so how you guys doing tonight? Doing good? Somebody's jealous of my coffee, it sounds like. And you should be. All right, so I, um, I did not have a chance to do any daily stuff yet. Well, a couple things that I just knocked out by accident when I got on. Uh, so I just went up and did my buffs and I went and raided my greenhouse. So let me cook some food and then we'll be on our way. So we'll keep an eye out for a, um, daily op team and we want to try to do an event and, uh, we'll see what happens. If we can finish up, finish up the raider stuff, we might, uh, might go hunt down some more, <sighs> but, um, and we'll start with that. So, I definitely want to finish up the Raider stuff. So if I if I don't get time to do all of the daily challenges, that's that's fine. I want to do them, but also uh, we have a plan. Uh, I did the Moonshine Jamboree. 92 uh, gulpers. Yeah. Got killed by a player earlier. How'd you manage that? Might have to grab some coffee yourself. You might have to. I think you should. Everybody should enjoy some coffee. If you like coffee. If you don't, don't drink it. Um, I, I recently found out that my three-year-old apparently loves coffee. And has snuck it from uh, everybody in this house and then some. I don't know if there's a coffee emote or not. I don't know if I have emotes. Do you have? I, I don't think you get emotes until you get like partnered or whatever. I'll have to look into all that. Uh, once we eventually get emotes, there will absolutely be a coffee emote. Yeah. Maybe several. <laughs> Probably, probably coffee and tea and uh, seems like you get some. Yeah, I'll have to look at it. I already cooked. Yeah, I uh, sadly am not really up to up to par knowledge wise on exactly what what I have and what I get. So um, it's kind of about the game first for me. But also having having custom emotes and stuff is pretty fun. All right, let's check for a team. We're going to have to get on a casual team. If I can work my controller. And uh, we found stinky cheese. You know, I got to say, I like a lot of the stinkier cheeses. So, like when I was little, we had like Looney Tunes cartoons and the big joke on that was Limburger was super stinky right they always picked on Limburger cheese so one day I was in the grocery store I was 
maybe like 14, I found a block of Limburger for sale. So I bought it. And um, it was in like this foil pack. You know, normal, small size block of cheese. And you open up the foil and it was in plastic. And you open up the plastic and it was in paper. You open up the paper, it was in more foil. And it just kept going down. Like it was it was turtles all the way down. And and the actual like the, the block of cheese was like this. The actual block of cheese inside was like a bite. And as you're opening up the layers, it gets stinkier and stinkier and just stronger. And it, it smelled like like foot. It smelled like foot. It smelled like gross foot. And then you finally get down to the little nugget and you can barely get it in your mouth because it's so strong. And it tasted like foot. It tasted like gross foot. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Lesson learned. Uh, to, to people that enjoy it, cool. Now they make, um, wow. they make a Limburger spread that's not nearly as strong, right? And we used to spread it on crackers or spread it on bread and put like raw onion on it. And that was actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, definitely can't do the real thing. I flew too close to the sun. Yeah. All right. Uh, Maine. Where are we at? Uh, Old Weston Shuffle. Johnny agreed to do the vault job. Of course, he won't do it unless I help him first. We need to win an arena fight so I can help him free his friend Halm. First, I need to meet Johnny at Watoga Civic Center. Yeah, that's that's the best way to describe it is just, ew. Yeah. But I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I tried it because now I know. Some good coffee. It's not quite like espresso strong, but it's very like full bodied. Like the texture of it is, it's good. <clears throat> so this was the quest that made me hate power armor. I remember doing this on my other character and you're going to see there's a point in time where you have to keep like waiting on a bench in between rounds. And to do that, you have to take off your power armor, sit on the bench and wait, put it back on, go do the thing, come back, take it off, sit on the bench, wait. So annoying. I'm his slave. I'm pointing a shotgun to his back. I guess I can put that away. Can you like walk faster? No. <laughs> you you're pushing it my dude sorry sir i won't let it happen again sir no sound from the game mm -mm -mm. what we got going on here oh i'm the one who's got i never did the scene transition get that stinking collar on that should be better now you heard the nice bloke come over here so I'm a professional. Around your scrawny neck. All right, so basically he said I just shit all over the side of the building before we came in. That, that's basically what he said. Hey, thanks for playing it cool. 
I signed you up as an alternate to get you into today's match. So you'll go in if one of the current fighters loses before the match is over. I have a good feeling that's gonna happen, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Now, if you screw up and they try to detonate your collar, it's on to plan B. Kill everyone, save Hal, and make it out alive. Can't we just start with plan B? Like, plan B would be, would be way better. I want plan B. Yeah, can we go over plan B? Well, there's not much to go over. If all else fails, we're going out guns blazing. It won't be ideal. And we'll need to murder every last one of these chumps. And still rescue Hal. Let me be clear. Do not lead us into plan B. I will not be happy. That'd be way more fun. <sighs> Understood. What's next? Well, you're down here, I'll work my magic in the stands, doing recon and making deals. There are three rounds. You'll need to fend off whatever they throw at you. Between each round, I'll come back here for a pep talk, and we'll discuss our various options. I'm counting on you to come in first. Don't let me down. All right, septic survivor. Get out there when they call. Survivor. And don't let me down. I've got a lot of caps. Riding on you. Where's the middle finger? Well, we'll just we'll just go with we'll just go with that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So here's the spot where you have to keep sitting on the bench, and you can't sit on the bench while you're in power armor. It's you. Get out there. Oh, are we doing world radio? Ah, oh, you found the coffee emote. Nice. I. There's probably gonna be um. World radio. Announcer, I would imagine. Just gotta remember to turn that off after. It's like a yummy cup of coffee. Better one than that. Yeah, I think we can do better than that. We're back and ready to rock, folks! Now let's all put our hands together for our newest contender, the Septic Survivor! The hell? I didn't realize we were going already. Getting that adrenaline buff, I'm sure. Good luck. I can't even see that. What is that? Is that like a Starbucks coffee cup? A nondescript chain coffee place coffee cup. Boba tea, okay. Now who's ready to see some fireworks? I um I've tried it a couple times. Uh, it just seems to be more sugar than anything from what I've had. We'll take a quick break while we rearrange the arena for round two. Now go get yourself some food and drink, you sick bastards! <laughs> Wow, people out there seem impressed. Keep it up, and this will be a piece of cake. Okay, listen up. I found a couple ways we can tip the scale in our favor. 
And Nuclear Don was using some strange new brand of chems to give himself an edge. And now he's dead, we can steal it. Use it ourselves. I also discovered a powerful turret system built into the arena. I bet I can hack it and turn it against your targets in the ring. Hmm. Let's take some drugs. Okay, I'll create a distraction, and you raid Don's locker for the chems. I can only distract for so long without raising suspicion. So be quick. The chems should last at least one round, so make it count. Don't do drugs. Ow! Well, that'll not get you back up anytime soon. Something I need to speak with you about. I already got the drugs, dude. After a strong showing from Maximum Matty and a good run from Death Klaus, it's time for our final Death fighters Klaus. to come out. Can the septic survivor keep up the pace? Septic survivor. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the last round started a hell of a lot faster than I thought. Let's just do 100% damage, 100 damage resist, 100 max health for 5 minutes, restores health with an initial burst to use heal. Okay, so uh, let's favorite that. Our newest contender is back in the arena for round two. Let's see how they tackle this next Ah, why would have to be floaters? And this will be proved themselves against our Oh, I should have done the turrets. You know how I feel about floaters. I'm stuck in here, huh? Okay. Ah! Oh. Easy with that, man. Give me the stuck on stuff. I can't unequip the uh, explosive collar. Splat. Septic survivor, but you're gonna need to do better than that to win the final round. Second place is now last place. After you win, I'll come meet you down on the arena floor, where we'll go over the final plans. And you're on your own. Oh, I also found some new information we can use to our advantage, if you so choose. Now, I'm certain I can convince Maximum Maddie to throw the round if I tell her I'll disable her collar and buy her freedom. So what kind of help do you want from me this round? I mean, yeah. A sure thing. Maddie's anxious and focused on self-preservation. She'll be an easy con. Look, it's unfortunate what happens to the losers here. 
but Maddie deserves to die. I just need you to go talk to the guard and distract him while I do it. You cool with that, right? Sure. Alright, I'm cool with this option. Good, go do your thing and I'll do mine. Stand down, slave. It'd be a shame if you were to get injured before your next fight. Whoa there. I didn't mean to cause trouble. I just thought you looked bored standing there alone. Wanna talk? You know, slaves are supposed to keep to themselves and shut the hell up. But, ah, what the heck. You're right. I'm bored as shit down here. What do you want to know? Hmm. What's your name? Len. Yeah, I never liked it. But I never had the heart to change it. No everyone else around here changed theirs after civilization fell. Hmm. Do you have any family? Nah. Parents are dead. Died when I was 14, before I joined up with Sargento. Never had any brothers or sisters. No wife, no kids. I only have to worry about myself. What's the craziest thing you've seen in the arena? Yeah, this whole thing's pretty new, so there's not much, but... Oh, oh, this one gal, a uh, volunteer, not a slave, mind you. She climbs up on the back of this huge Yaogwa and starts riding it around. It's thrashing around, trying to get at her, but she pulls out this length of rusty barbed wire and saws its damn head off. Then she tosses it in Sargento's lap and spits at his feet. Thing I've ever seen. She left with her prize and never came back. Too bad. Yeah, I mean, that sounds pretty cool. Not gonna lie. It's pretty badass. Good chat. I've got to get ready for the next fight. Yeah, sure. What? Can you believe that? Let's see if that was enough time. That door's about Especially to open up, huh? During an elimination match like we have tonight. Legendary yeah. parasitic crafted now, monster. Let's make some noise. His feet to his legs. There we go. Let's get a mutate. There we go. Get his legs again. This is the time that it kind of sucks having, having the, the shotgun. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner! So how exactly did she throw that round? Longer. As for our former champion, the performance tonight was disappointing. More time to be in the splash zone. Know what that means. There's a time limit. See ya. Oh. Nah, he fell for it. I didn't realize the matches were timed. Quick, listen up. Here's what's gonna happen now. Sargento will offer you a drink from the winner's cup. It's laced with a heavy sedative to knock you out and counter the adrenaline. In case you were to try something stupid. 
There's a key. Keep it hidden. After you and Hal bust out, meet me here. Huh. Okay, look. Good to know. Sargento's coming. He already wants to buy you, so other than the formalities, it's a done deal. Any questions? If Sargento's paying for me, I want to cut it whatever you're getting. Okay, fine. I'll throw some caps your way when we're done with this. No more questions. I'm good to go. All right. Time to get back into character then. Sargento, ready, afraid. How come I don't have a shadow? You see, you see their shadows. I'm standing between them. There's a lot of profit to be made. Right, killer like this. Sure, you want to give her up? Yeah, mate, I'm chuffed. But I'm looking to move on now. I think she's better served here with you. Yeah, I get it. I am um, the shadow? So I steal cane. You get bonus DKP if anybody gets that reference. Nah. Bit dim and may smell like a well used loo. <laughs> but that's the worst of it. <laughs> hey, you're a good one, Riz. You got yourself a deal. Now we'll settle up after I have with my others. All right. My new slave. <laughs> Time to celebrate with a drink. Winner's cup. Bottoms up. Can I just like shoot him? I'd rather shoot him. <laughs> I out nerded you. <laughs> New gal, huh? Hopefully, it'll last longer than the last one. The shadow? The shadow? Oh, uh, this is somebody has some bonus DKP. Uh, you must be Hal. I am. It's a little strange you know that. Johnny and I are here to rescue you. Wait, Johnny? I'm surprised he'd come to save me. That's great. What's the plan? I got a key. We go right out the door and fight our way out. Not the most elegant solution, but between the two of us, I think we can manage. The guard shift's usually pretty light about now. Once you make a move, I'll be right behind you. Yeah, but you will be. Amazing movie, yeah. Yeah, I didn't care so much for the third one, but that one was all about uh, like uh, like Magic the Gathering and type of stuff, and I never really got into that. But yeah. hey, the first two, especially the second one, are just amazing games, uh, movies, movies about games. If I were going to make a movie, and I'm not saying I'm not, but I'm also not saying I am, it would probably be heavily inspired by those movies. Bro, you gotta get your references right, my man. It was a ballista, not a catapult. Yeah. 
Yeah, that kind of shenanigans though was always like my favorite like D D games. It was like stuff like that going on. Not everybody's style, but uh Oh yeah, it was still hilarious. Like, okay, for real, you see me come out of the room and murder, like, eight people. Although, to her credit, she at least did try to shoot me in the back. Okay, I think I've gone completely around in a circle. Oh, okay. Could have just went out that door to begin with. <clears throat> just, just gonna stand there, Johnny? Johnny! How the heck are you? Thanks for busting me out of there. Al. Why the let you keep your weapons? My man. You look like hell. And it suits you. Because that's exactly where you're going. <gasps> Double cross! Bruh. Alright, for real, Johnny, why didn't you just say that to begin with? Hey. Thanks, Vault Dweller. hell Johnny you just shot him after all that I did sorry for misleading you but if you knew I was only coming here to kill Hal you probably wouldn't have come along yeah smiling the whole time yeah uh, you should have told me I would have still come along sorry that wasn't a risk I was willing to take but hey now I know better for next time before we go there's one small matter we should discuss I want you to tell Meg I get a 50% cut of the gang share of the vault loot. Or I walk. Dude, you can have a 90% share of what the raiders get. You know that's absurd. 25% or nothing. Final offer. Alright, alright. You drive a hard bargain. 25% it is. Hey, here's your caps, by the way. Thanks for letting me sell you into servitude. Back to the crater then, shall we? I think we shall. Alright. I know we missed a, a daily op group, but um I happen to know if you quit out in the middle of that, you have to start all over again. Okay, so quest started uh side with crater. Okay, so the raider stuff is done then. So we are ready, we're ready to do that. So that's good. Um, I think I wanna do this quest, but also, uh, let's go kill some cultists. And we'll keep an eye out for events and um, Daily ops groups. Sure. Sure. Event free range. If yeah, I don't know. Like they drug you and stick you in a room, and like you can have all your weapons and all your gear. And I guess it. You have a slave collar on, so even if you do shoot one of them, they just blow your head off is the idea, right? Hey, we need to talk, my man. The cultist prospects not count? Oh, I'm not tracking it. What to say? What the hell's behind me? Sneaky, sneaky. 
I think it helps if you throw it at me instead of at yourself. Yeah. Really? Really? I'm a great deal. Almost got stuck. With the divine light. It's it's kind of nice to not have to, to worry about um, farming festives anymore. Not gonna lie, like I was getting pretty tired of farming those things. A lot of Mothman eggs. Mothman! Holy Mothman! Batman? Yellow covered the sky. Poison filled the air. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Allow him to look inside your soul. Desire. I know I it's forbidden. He promised to wash it all away. He promised that he will return. Take me. I am yours. Yeah, it was fun the first couple days. I. It's cool that they're in the game. It was annoying having to, like, farm them. Because there were some days where the spawn rate was just ridiculously low. But then there were some days where it took like five minutes. You'd go to the airport and like get ten of them. But most days it was like spend an hour and a half going around, server hopping, like just trying to get enough. So, you know, the whole server is farming those things. And not just for the daily. Because, you know, they drop fun stuff. But yeah, getting getting the presents. Same thing with the Halloween ones. Getting the, the getting the loot bags. There's almost never anything decent in them, but it's still fun. That's basically loot box mechanics that don't matter. You don't have to spend money on. Although you can, because you can buy the gift wrap and make the presents. But again, I, I don't know what the loot tables for the for the boxes even are. But I don't think there was really anything good in it. What even is the daily op today? West Tech Communist. Oh, cloaked. I hate cloaked. Cloaked is such BS. Uh, we may not do daily op today. Oh, what was the uh, weekly? daily app challenges alcohol we need to be drinking alcohol kill 10 honey beasts more than resistant yes more than resistant because look I was in resilient you mean the, the one where you have to melee them I was in one the other day walking around with my plasma sword getting owned like usual and then I swear one of the other guys walks up to the enemy Shoots him twice with a shotgun and then bashes him and he dies. It never freaking occurred to me to just bash him with my shotgun. Suddenly it's a whole lot less annoying. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, yeah, let's let's go work on this quest chain because um, if I remember correctly, if we do this quest chain, we'll get a vendor that will sell us gold. It could be wrong. Hey, 
And I don't know what else we would work on tonight anyway, so... I guess we could work on, on Sophie's stuff. Alright, what does even the quest say? Time to build this sign at my camp so I can lure in these thugs. That just said I can scrap the materials. Okay, blah, blah. Alright, so I actually need to go to my camp. Yeah. I mean, sometimes... Feeling pretty dumb about that one. Especially since I was always the one with a bayonet. Because I would bash so much. A mole rat? Clean up this, fix that. Is that dead mole rat? Oh, I don't think I showed it off. But, there's a third floor now. A little greenhouse. Some razor grains, some corn, carrots, mute fruit, potatoes. So, that's perfect. It's just thrown together and I kept like bumping my head on the build limit. I have another magazine rack up here. So, I, I don't know, at some point I'll probably just tear down and rebuild, but I don't really feel like it. Hey, I got this. What does this do? Requires electricity. Sell items from your stash. Can't hold around a mountain vendor. So how is this different than... This is just another vendor, basically. So, but I, but I have to run electricity to them. So now let's put them like right here. Free money. Yeah, it looked pretty cool. Oh, you think just like being close enough to catch the like radiation, like from the broadcaster things? Well, actually, these lights are off. So something funky is going on with my power. Yeah, because I can't attach. Okay, yeah, he's just got to be close to a conduit. Okay, well, I mean, that's easy enough. him up put him over here uh, I didn't intend for it to be a, a building stream but I don't know what the hell that was yeah so what's going on with my power here Oh, because I unhooked something. What did I, oh, I unhooked the, um, these, um, water purifiers. That's what it was. So, I think I just need to put a, um,
power connector. One of these down here. There we go. Now we're back in business. Okay, so we also need one of these. You can go down by the water. You can go in a van down by the river. I mean, I'm just going to block all that. I don't want that there. Yeah, you can go down here. My farm used to be. Yeah, I uh, I take these water purifiers out, which have one of these towers next to it. That's why I had half my lights were off too. Red Rocket gas station lamp. Five caps. Mr. Handy Buzz Blade. Four caps because I missed. Overdrive! Five caps. P60 motion assist servos. Five caps. Gulper head. Five caps. Tasty squirrels too. That is easily worth 15 caps, but I'm selling it for five caps. That's kind of cool. So I never understood why some people would have like four or five stores in their in their bases and their camps until I went to go shop at somebody's camp and had to wait for somebody else to finish shopping. It all came together at that point. Yeah, only one person per shop, exactly. Not gonna lie, I'm getting kinda excited about uh about raiding that vault Friday. Woo. Seems like we've been working on it for a long time, even though we really haven't. It seems like it. I forgot to turn the world radios back off. Like, why am I hearing music suddenly? Alright. Load broadcast tape into radio tower and activate connection. Check this out. Ah. What was going through your head? Shoot me. Shoot me. Let's see how much health a ricochet takes. Shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. Almost none. Okay. But it's enough to proc uh, vampiric, so that's that's worth it right there. And bits of lead were going through his head.
Like we missed the bus on this place. Uh, I need to finish the overseer stuff too. That way, get rid of some of these. Broadcast it. Message uploaded. Initiating broadcast calls. Attention, all consumers. New business established. Please seek out Crane Treasure Hunting Incorporated to exchange goods and services. Initiate tagline. Follow the sign to Fortune. Broadcast complete. Okay. Back to my camp. Yeah, I feel like I remember the the gentleman Johnny stuff taking longer than it did. But like I said, I I know for a fact that if you leave out in the middle of it, you have to do it twice. <laughs> so that might be why. That might be why I feel that way. Yeah, that's um, that's why I'm doing this quest because uh, I want that NPC to be there. So what did I get from here? Do I need to set him back to junk or? Uh Oh, we'll leave him on nice naughty gifts. Like, I have the junk collector right next to him. You know Crane? Can tell you anything about this treasure he found? Crane found the treasure? Holy shit. Where is he? What can you tell me about Crane? Probably not much more than you. He came to Appalachia, not far back, hunting for the same treasure everyone else is. Last time I saw him, he mentioned something about the abandoned storage facility. Picked up some details on the, the general shit. Now, your turn. Where is he? He said, don't send them to the wayward, right? That's none of your concern. I get out of here. Fine. I'll find Crane myself. Thanks for nothing, Brick. Brick, huh? How was that? Flatwoods monster. The hell? What was that? Besides, too damn close to my base. Ukraine. Uh, quite the setup you got here. So, rumor is you've got information our boss wants. You tell me where this treasure is, and he's willing to leave you. No, you tell me where your hideout is, or I'll turn you inside out. Okay, well, what? Ah. Sure. 
fine, fine. We, we took over the old West Virginia Lumber Company in the Northwest. Come on. Let's get out of here. I think you should. So yeah, let's look at the scoreboard just for fun. We are we are getting there. I don't remember exactly when the, the season ends, but Coca Cola Quantum Collectron Station. Oh, uh, oh, most wanted is up. Nice. Definitely want to do that. I had a lucky option when I spoke to him. Guess one of their names. Yeah, I feel like I did that on my other character, but I don't. I don't remember. That was like one of the first things I did on that character, so I don't. So it just freaks him out. I had that option. I figured threatening raiders is always more fun. Oh, nobody started it yet? Damn, nobody's here. <laughs> Guess we're going alone on this one. Welcome back. Now it's open. Howdy, folks. The game's about to start, so get yourselves ready for some Kill the leftover. Oh, dude, so you basically make a turn on each other. That's pretty cool. I like when you can do stuff like that. Oh yeah, it sounds fun. Oh! 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 This would be really cool to actually do with like I don't know paintballs or, or like maybe nerf guns or something but you know run around pull the thing get the tickets get shot at while you're picking a lot of robots Ah. Oh. I feel like somebody's about to blow up right here. This might take a minute to do by myself. How many do I have so far? Ninety? Yeah, I don't know. Especially having to fight everything. Oh! That was fifteen. Oh! Hitting the same ones over again. Whoever gets it done. I have no idea how many I have, but I'm sure it's not 600. <laughs> these again. Dirty lousy varmint. 20 in that one. Nice.
Is it Deputy Bot or Deputy Bot? Like, is Bot his name? Or is he a Deputy Bot? Because I always read it like it's his name, and I don't think that's the case. Doggone degenerate! All right, you creepy little robot. Oh, there is no way. One in the jail. Yeah. Yeah, they're respawning fast enough. Yeah. Less than a minute and I'm not even halfway. That's really weird that there's nobody on doing this, though. Like, I guess everybody's done with it. That's the first time I think I've ever done it, and it wasn't like a huge crowd of people. I think we're just gonna call this a loss. tonight Collision course. God, come on. Come on. The sheriff comes out left, there's a bigger safe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that was going to save us. Which is unfortunate, but the uh, hell? What kind of emote is that? This is one of the events that I've done like 600 times in the last month. Because, you know, you can usually get a couple of uh, festives out of it. If not all five. Would have needed to open the cell at the start. Uh. Oh, I need to drink alcohol. some up there. A little three lock. Yeah, I mean, that's not a problem. Yeah, I killed one. And exactly one. I just need the event completed. Used it to farm scorched also, yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty decent place. It was almost always up. Nice helmet, dude. 
I don't know what that emote is. Oh, it's a salute. Okay. Bro, you just like exploded. Just for fun. if an explosives build would be fun. I'd probably end up just killing myself. Make me level 119. It's crazy. You guys level 8. Remember when we were level 8? I think we were probably near the airport at that time. Yeah, it seems like forever ago, doesn't it? It wasn't actually that long ago. <laughs> Alright, uh... Oh, we need to claim a workshop and we need daily odds. Uh, I think we'll claim a workshop, I guess. I don't know which one. Looks like a lot of them are already claimed. I don't want to take the power, well... I take the power plant, I don't care. I don't think there's any that I really need anything from. And I'm not going to like stick around and farm the stuff anyway. So, eh, maybe I'll just take that. Yeah, it does. It just, it seems like forever ago. Oh, it actually put me on the island. That's weird. It usually puts me on the other side. Oh wait, it did put me on the other side. I'm dumb. Drop in the water sometimes. Yeah, that must suck. Now here you go. Here's a bunch of rads. Thanks. Oh, this has junk, at least. I don't know if it's worth building a junk collector. Big ass mole rat. Oh, brood brother. Alright. Let's see if anybody wants to come kill me. Found <laughs> a player shops and dropped off a cliff to die. Yeah, so when you're going to like just fast traveling around, uh, going to people's camps, like it can drop you in some pretty dumb places. Like getting stuck under the camp or falling off a cliff yeah I I got spawned under one the, the camp was in the middle of like a lake and um, I spawned underneath the camp under the water 
So I'd like to hurry up and fast travel out of there. I am the defenses. I guess I can put a... What even is this? I guess I can put a um, junk extractor up. Eh, even if somebody comes and steals the junk, I don't really care. Oh, it's aluminum? Come here. It says fertilizer. Oh, that is. Silver, steel, junk. Does that mean it has all of those things at this camp? Ten. Super mutants. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Look at the map and the shop, it'll show you. Oh, that's true. Spawning down the damn road. Gonna end up losing the event. Food, fertilizer, silver, steel, water, junk, loot. Damn. Damn. So, where the hell do you get the water from? I didn't see a water extractor. There's gonna be there's just actual water here so you can put a uh, filtration thing, purifier. Oh, the sound of the gunshots. Here we go. Hey, 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 uh uh, y'all won't shoot that. No! Not cool. That was comical. <laughs> like his skin fell off of his head and then it just kind of fell apart. Yeah, bloody mess is weird when it procs. Yeah. <laughs> Years. Any generator left? Not really. I guess technically that counts as an event. Yeah, so that's actually pretty good. Alright, uh, I guess... Stick a couple turrets on it. Alright, report to Duchess. Let's eat. Damn. 
next journal and something. That's something else we should do too, yeah. Go to other shops. Why? Does somebody have something good? A oh, workshops, you mean? Capture them, complete the events if you need them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know I had last week for the weekly, it was like capture five workshops. So I just went in and just took five of them and let them get taken back because I didn't care. I just needed to capture them. I didn't need to hold them, which is weird, but yeah. Gulper Smacker Chain Wrapped. All right. Well, you don't look too worse for wear. You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding. Duchess, bring me your finest flannel. I'm heading to West Virginia Lumber. <laughs> Good to know. Then that's where their boss will be. You need to go- wait, 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 West Virginia Lumber? <laughs> that is not right. You misheard them for sure. And that's of concern. Why, exactly? Was wandering up that way not too far back. The lumber company? That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. Mutants. You've seen those Frankensteins. If this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill, Duchess, these guys might be tougher than advertised. Hmm. You got any recommendations on how you'd proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing, unless you got some big guns. Could try and luck your way inside, maybe see if they want to talk to you. But there was this family I ran into up that way that I'm sure has had to deal with them already. There was also this, uh, let's say, special scrapper who was making some pretty bold claims about his knowledge of the mill. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them. Let's discuss this later. There's no skin off my cheeks. You change your mind, I'll be here. Oh wait, I, I have to talk to him. See, that's stupid. Anything else you wanted to know about this family and this scrapper? No, but I have to ask anyway. Tell me about this family. You'll find them at Anchor Farm, if these thugs haven't already run them off. But if they are still there, well, they probably managed to work something out with them. Hey, it couldn't hurt to find out what it was. Uh -huh. Tell me about the scrapper. Found him living in the stalls at Tyler County Fairground. Guy kept claiming he knew the best way to run the mutants out of the mill. But listen, I couldn't get him to spill how. Probably have a better chance he'll share what he learned with someone who still has an entire face. That's fair. How can I go? I think I've got everything I need. Well, that's a good thing. Because that's all I've got. If you haven't already explored up that way, the fastest route back would be via Vault 76 and trekking north from there. And take care of yourself, all right? You're doing us a big one here. Travel back to Vault 76. If you haven't already explored that way, is what. Okay. I was basically they're saying, hey, just just go back this way. Right there by that workshop I took. Looks like it's raining over that way. It's that way. Well, yeah, that's a power plant there. That's the mines. Pretty cool. 
I don't think we went this way. I expect... Yep, creepy little robots. Speaking Chinese. Free money. I feel like at this point I could just go in and kill them. <sighs> what did I just get? Did I just get XP from somebody else finishing the quest? Like I knew you got uh, like some free money, but. What's up, dog? We are apparently all out of sup dog. Anchor farm. I expected it to be like on the on the side of the water at least. moves there that Chinese stealth uh, helmet actually does look pretty cool like I, I really like the look is cool right now like I'm down with it plus a minigun at first Hey, settler. Hey, excuse me, I'm kind of busy. Only really because you look kind of like you're not busy. Anything in here I can steal? claim space up the road maybe you should give it a visit Heard you might have had some dealings with the gang up at West Virginia lumber West Virginia L no don't know anything about them now I'd like you to leave too bad I have a shotgun you sure Cause she, you started sweating when I mentioned them. I know you know something. Uh, all right. We worked out a deal. Supplies for protection. What do you want to know about it? Tell me about this deal you worked out. Once a month. Food, ammo, scrap. Murray and me take it up to the mill ourselves. Gave us a password to get in. Blue Danube. No other questions right now. Eh. <laughs> we extort him. Then by all means, beat it. Unless there's something else. 
fine, I'm leaving. Bye. All the gang is dead when you got there. Someone cleared out before I got there. Yeah, that's that's the problem with this. It was like when I went to the airport. The airport was cleared out when I got there. I mean, that's just the inherent problem. The only way to get around that is to have like really fast respawn timers. And then that makes it really inconvenient for everybody, really. Because if you're still working your way through and things start respawning, that's, that's not fun. So... Without, you know, having everybody in their separate instance, there's not much you can do about it. I mean, it was like that when they first released the game. Yeah, I would imagine everything was just kind of dead all the time. As soon as something did respawn, it, it got taken out. If we could expand our area all the way out here, the raiders don't have a chance. You know, there's a lumber mill full of raiders, like, right up the road, right? Gotta keep a lookout for raiders. I, I'm sure Todd would love to sell you a uh, Fallout First membership so that you can have a uh, uh, private server all to yourself. That way that wouldn't happen. Which, if that was something that really bothered you, and you really wanted, like you were really into it, like that was really taking you out of it, then, I mean, that's a totally reasonable way to get around it. I mean, it sucks that it costs money, but it is what it is. I mean, you also get the handy uh, survival tent. Why am I walking? Oh, I'm almost there now. Again, I can repair power armor. I can build power armor from scratch. Why can't I pick up that bike, repair it, and just ride it down the damn street? Let's see how much trap we got since we're here. Worth it, I suppose. Love to get a bike or something game. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Silver. I mean, really, don't go to pieces over it. What up, Rotato? Hey, you, get the hell out of you. Oh, you're not one of those creeps. Look, you, you, you here to rob me? But joke's on you, don't got nothing. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find something. Hand over whatever you got. Hey, is <laughs> a good one. You serious? Fine. Here! Now I actually got nothing. So you can leave me in peace? What did I get? Military grade circuit board, vodka, vodka bottle, fusion cells. Oh, weird. I am here to rob you. And over whatever you've got. Hey, uh, I already gave you everything I got, alright? Just leave me alone. Uh, I heard you were bragging about being able to run everyone out of West Virginia lumber. Ow. Ah, uh, you talked to the burn victim. Yeah, I got a trick up my sleeve, but I'm not giving it away for free. Could kill them all, if I wanted. But I'm not just giving it away. You gotta get me something. No, you're giving it to me for free. Well, you're a real piece of work. Fine, take them! Hope you get your throat slit! 
What did I get? Oh, stealth boys. Oh, so, so basically he's saying stealth then. Yeah, my dad. Oh, no death claw. Is he a death claw? You know we would have sent you to Death Claw Island for now. You want to go to Death Claw Island? We can go to Death Claw Island. We can get drunk and go there. I'm like the opposite of afraid of Death Claws. <laughs> A couple of shots in the kneecaps and they just lay there. It's, it's almost disappointing, to be honest. Oh, I did look up. I remember the one night we were talking about Death Claws. The, um, on the, the official, like, Fallout wiki. Official. It's a wiki. Um, it does say that Death Claws were engineered pre-war by the, by the Enclave. Out of, like, some sort of chameleon, I think. I feel like we were here before. Throwing rocks at me, bro. That is rude. Oh, and he blew up. <laughs> yeah, because it like spawned under the ground or something. Yeah, it is a little messed up, like... Drink that whiskey in it, bourbon. I have to be careful because, um... Didn't I pick up bourbon? Oh, there's... Yeah, as I say, last time I did that, I got addicted. Uh, okay. Alright, well. That is time for tonight. So, um... Next time, it's Fallout Friday. We're gonna raid that vault. Who do you think we ought to take with us? I'm definitely leaning toward settlers, but I mean, I could be convinced otherwise, but I'm really thinking settlers. It's gonna take a lot of convincing to get me to, to not do settlers. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for hanging out. Be sure to join us Friday when we uh, we go raid that vault. We're gonna we're gonna get some gold, some gold in that their vault. You vote for settlers. We'll probably do settlers, unless like somebody really tries hard to change my mind. So uh, thanks again, everybody. Stay safe. We'll see you Friday. We're gonna get that gold. See ya.